the scenes today one of my client videos and we're um, working to get some epic footage and not really sure how it's going to turn out but you just saw uh, the finished product right before this clip Recently we did a video shoot for Misao Hibachi and Sushi Bar during a time where the indoor dining was closed due to this pandemic. However, the restaurant was open for carryout, which posed a slight challenge for us while we were conducting the video session. Usually we do this during after hours or while the site is closed, but we're so grateful that they allowed us to come in and shoot behind the scenes for this particular video. The main difference is I was not able to do a lot of talking during the behind the scenes as I would have liked to and some of the audio is somewhat muted due to the mask but our primary goal is that we wanted everyone to be safe we also wanted to be flexible and, and accommodate the restaurant's schedule as this pandemic has been very hard for a lot of the local businesses and so there were a few times where we had to stop shooting to allow their customers to pick up their orders also i didn't want to get the perfect shot and then be able to use that footage due to some customer being in the background so let's dive into how we shot this video I always start with creating a shot list of the various types of scenes I want to capture. There are many different ways of doing this, but this works for my workflow. I know some creators write out an entire storyboard to draft each of their scenes. I may do a separate video on how to draft out a shot list or to create the videos that I do. If this is something that you would like to see, please leave a comment down below. For this video, we wanted to sh really focus on and highlight the overall experience of the restaurant and focusing on the main subject, which was the food. The main lens I used throughout the video was the Sony 24 millimeter G Master. In my opinion, this is a must have lens in your toolkit. I found the lens to be extremely sharp throughout and it creates some amazing bokeh, that creamy blurred out background. So pairing this with the Sony A7S III produces a very high quality image and it has that 1.4 aperture allowing for low light shooting. So let's jump right into this. of the sushi and pull back and it's going to transition to the waitress the same food pulling back as well so in this sequence we're going to capture the waitress bringing the food to the table the focus is going to be the food and then we're going to make that transition to where the food is actually on the table and revealing the table.
them all. Make it perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this content. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a comment down below. Also, consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the like icon. That will be greatly appreciated. And here's the scene one more time from the beginning. And like always, you guys, be fun, be safe, be creative. Peace.